Oh, this is emotional, guys. Look at that, guys. A rating from 0 to 100? Horrific! <laughs> <laughs> Jadi guys, ini jam 2 pagi, 20 past 2 in the morning. So yeah, stay tuned guys, let's go. Ah, oh, this is emotional guys. <laughs> Honestly. I do. We're coming up the whole path, I'm not exaggerating, is like sheer volcanic ash and sand. And and honest to God, I'm not exaggerating, every time you take three steps, you just slide back two. So energy is sapping. We're just having a quick two second uh, break and then we crack on. I think that's key, just having a break every couple of minutes and then cracking on. Look at that guys, that is the, city down there and this is the sunrise just coming up the summit is up there you can see a couple of head torches maybe but oh this is emotional honestly i've got two jackets on i've got my rab and i've got my what my uh, windproof jacket on my hands and toes feel like they're just gonna snap off so freezing honestly guys this is gila Definitely, Saratos percent. Satalagunung ini. Team saya akan santai dari gunung. Karena ini gila banget. Look at that view though. Still dark over there, look. And there's a sunrise just coming up. That doesn't look far, but we've probably still got another hour. The track is like this, look. Don't know if you can see it. The track is absolutely crazy. The track is just all uh, volcanic ash and sand. It's like trying to walk up sand dunes. I'm actually dizzy as I'm walking, like, whoa. Lightheaded and all that, honestly, I'm not even joking. I need to keep swapping my hands on the camera because they're so cold. Oh, honestly, this is crazy. But it is a opportunity of a lifetime, right? Look at that, man. Gila, guys. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to put the camera away now so I can put both hands in my pockets and I'll record again. When we get to the summit. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go.
Namaste. <laughs> Lebih bagus itu ya? Iya. Yeah. Oh, gila guys, sumpah. Saya gak bohong. Saya lupa bawa stick. Kalau kamu mau naik Rinjani, harus bawa walking stick. Uh, sangat bermanfaat itu. Sekarang saya di dalam the hot walker. The whole track has been like this for Probably the last four hours, not even exaggerating. We are exhausted. I'm not gonna lie. Like to the point you're like, ah, fuck, bugger it. We don't need to go to the summit, but of course we are gonna go. But the feeling is like, ah, oh, whatever. That was it. Empat jam Baik ini guys Oh iya yeah. Energi buang semua Ini pertama kali naik Renjani Ini terakhir naik Renjani <laughs> Tapi itu sangat-sangat indah sekali guys It's worth it if you're, Even if you're only gonna do it one time in your life You need to try Renjani I wouldn't recommend trying it if you have never done mountains before because this is this is emotional I'm telling you this like the whole way it's just like what I've been doing is five or five to ten steps which you then come back a couple of steps you know because it's so it's so powdery and slippery then I've been taking a break trying to catch my breath then I had to wait for the guys for water and then you go up again and then during the night, oh my god when it got to about 2-3 o'clock in the morning we were already above 3,000 meters it was absolutely ice cold like I thought my toes were gonna fall off and my fingers were gonna fall off it was horrific and now, oof so this mountain is 3,726 meters above sea level right now we are 3,688 so we are almost there guys, 8 hours of trekking, we are almost there. Thank God. Here we are, guys. So the sound five point check. Ah, oh, goes. On top. Head down. Oh my God, that was emotional, guys. Ah, istirahat dulu ya. Baru ngomong nanti. That is a once in a lifetime thing. There is no way I'm coming. Incredible. Try <laughs> facing. <laughs> oh, let's have a look, guys. Dari atas. Ah, ini dong. Biar gak kita gak bohong ya, guys. Bohong. Sampai puncak. Itu di edit.
Oh, look at this guy. Absolutely low RBS. That is just incredible. Wow. 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 Jadi gimana rasanya? Nah, aku yang harus nanya nih. Jadi gimana bang, burung rinja nih? Bagus banget. Susah. Itu pak, itu gunung paling susah. Benar. Gunung paling susah yang dilalui sampai dengan hari ini ya. Yes. Kira-kira mau ngulang lagi nggak? Nggak. <laughs> Satu kali cukup. <laughs> Jadi harus nikmati di atas karena saya sudah tahu saya tidak pernah naik lagi. Mungkin saya naik ke tempatnya itu, ya camping uh, satu. Ya danau segara. Ya, ya danau aja nanti kalau kita kembali. Dan Tapi biasanya memang puncak ini nggak bisa. Kalau orang-orang udah pernah ke puncak Rinjani, iya. kedua kali pasti mereka ngomong gini, ah nggak mau ke puncak uh, di Pelawangan turun ke danau udah paling santai. Iya iya benar benar. Karena tidak terlalu susah untuk sampai situ. Iya ya, kan? Challenging tapi tidak gila, ini gila banget. Betul. Tapi sekali lagi, selamat ya. datang ya, di Rinjani. Rinjani. Ada bendera, ada bendera. Ada flag scout nanti, guys. Mount Rinjani is the third highest mountain in Indonesia, but also the most famous. It's without a doubt the most challenging climb I've done to date. I'd recommend anyone to do this once in their life, but make sure you prepare well before you come here. The breathtaking views are something you'll remember until the day you die, and the memories of this journey will stay with me forever. It's incredible to think you're standing on the summit, looking down at the peak of an active volcano, and a lake teeming with life. Gunung Rinjani, Indonesia, is an essential new addition to your bucket list. So guys, I just want to say a huge, huge appreciation and thank you Tri Makasih banyak untuk Abdul dari Rinjani Trekkers. So I sangat, sangat appreciate kerja dari kamu. Guys, then also guys, there is the porters down at the camping area, which we'll give recognition for later as well, because these guys do an incredible job. Like they've taken care of us the whole way. They've totally looked after us, bringing the water, food, tents, you name it. These guys have squared us away. So thank you very much, Abdul. You're welcome. Terima kasih banyak. Nanti kalau cari di Renjani Trekkers saya akan taro mereka tidak punya YouTube tapi mereka punya Instagram. Kalau kamu mau cari saya akan taro detailnya di bawah di deskripsi ya untuk Instagram mereka. Yes, so happy that we're finally here, guys. Honestly, that's the summit. We've already been there, of course. I just can't wait to get back then. Maybe they want to check this area, but yeah, look at the fog behind us. You can see the clouds. And also, the clouds are here. Also, guys, if you look just behind here, kamu bisa lihat glitter wangen, glit air. Wah, seru banget, seru banget. Ya, ya. Jadi sekarang kita mau turun, guys. Semoga lebih mudah turun. Itu licin sekali, benar. Tapi semoga kita bisa lebih cepat. Mungkin sejam, sejam setengah kita bisa sampai eh, tenda. Oh, sorry. I'm so exhausted. It is 8.30. Setengah sebelas. And, oh, nantuk banget kita, guys. And definitely, as soon as we get down to the camping area, I am going for a sleep instantly. And then we will move to the second camping area later on today. But even though, look, there's people going down, right? And there's more people coming up. 
masih ada orang yang mau naik gila harus the trick guys the key to coming up here is pelan-pelan saja cuman santai aja jangan tuh bon oi oi smash it karena nanti your legs are gonna be rusak but yeah saya sangat sangat rekomendasi kamu coba kalau kamu suka eh, mendaki gunung guys Gunung Renjani benar-benar adalah gunung khusus di dunia bukan cuma di Indonesia di dunia. Dan nah, so yeah, let's get going. That's us heading down from the summit now, guys. Look at the views just before we go. Oh, that's tonight's camping area. But before that, the camping area. I don't know if you can see that right above my finger. There's like little red tents and stuff. That is the camping area from last night, and that is where we're going right now. And I'm telling you, as soon as I get there, as soon as I get there, I'm getting my head clean down. That means I'm going to sleep. Because I am, or oh, we are absolutely exhausted. Oh, what a climb that was, honest to God. I'll show you on the way down. Oh, there's monkeys here. Monkeys at the summit? That's me, though. Ah, see? <laughs> the pet dog. <laughs> the monkey. <clears throat> oh, that is a night. Even going down is a nightmare because it's just. The whole way is just so slippery. But it took us about four hours to get up, maybe more. <coughs> yeah, maybe more like five or six. But um, going down should take us about an hour and a half. I'm literally just going to let the the ground fall away from me. Look, look, look at the track there. We had to come up this. Can you imagine walking up this for hours upon hours? Look. You just cannot get your step. It is horrific. Oh, see how nearly fell. And there's people just coming up now. It's very hard to record. We didn't get much, I didn't take much footage coming up. One, because it was, you know, pitch black at night time. We left at like two o'clock in the morning. And the other one is because it's so dangerous. Uh, somebody died here a couple of weeks ago because he fell down a, down a gorge. So you, you just have to be Looks like this, like you have to be careful. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off so I can crack on. Yeah, okay. Mostly going on. I used to make Bertha and heat up in the jungle, oh. but it's so so sabang at making content. Ito. And then the views started going down and down and down. Okay. Then when I started doing night going on, yeah. or hanging on, oh, the hey, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and when you make uh, survival content. You have to think of the story. What is the storyline behind this video, you know? Yeah. And then you need to prepare some more. It's so ribbit. Yeah, it but if you come to the Gunung, you just walk and talk. And <laughs> the Gunung makes the story, you know? Walk and talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. So how do you rate this? The top of the Horrific. Horrific. <laughs> <laughs> A rating from 0 to 100. Horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Ada orang dari Brunei guys. Do you get to see that? Look at the clouds to this side. <sighs> man, it is just absolutely breathtaking, man. And that is an active volcano in the center.
guys, we're finally back. We've just had food, had some fruit, pineapple, melons, we had some nasi goreng. I couldn't even finish the nasi goreng, I just wasn't hungry. And uh, my feet are looping. I've probably got, uh, it's now, sorry, what time is it? It's 10.46 a.m. So probably gonna sleep here, try and sleep, because it's really hot inside the tent. Sleep until, oh, excuse me. Sleep until about 1 p.m. And then we're gonna go down into the, the lake area for the campsite too, which the guys have just said is another four hour trek. Oh, absolutely burst. But the good news is it's going down, well one, we're going down, not up, and two, uh, it's it's rock path, it's not like sand and dust and ash and all that like the like the summit area, so thank god. But honestly, I'm, I'm not kidding, I'm absolutely exhausted, like, if you wanted me to walk another 10 metres right now, I just couldn't, I need to sleep first. Horrific. It was amazing, but it's horrific. <sighs> Guys, we're getting packed up now. We're gonna head down from here to the camping site next to the big lake. Uh, we've just been told it's a four hour trek. <coughs> um, it was raining a minute ago. It's actually just stopped, but it was raining. And the guys were like, yeah, if it rains, we can't go because the whole track is rocks and you just, it's so slippery when it rains, you just break your leg or break your neck. So they said, if it rains, we can't go. And we're like, ah, oh, nah. But it was just what we call greamies. It means it's rain from the fog coming in. So it only lasted a couple of, not even three minutes, you know, it wasn't long. And as soon as it came off, we just jumped out, packed our kit and now we're gonna head down, but pff, what a mission today has been. So we obviously climbed up to here yesterday during the day, and then from one o'clock in the morning, went up there, got back here at 10 a.m., had some food, got our head down. It's now 12.46, <laughs> we're now on another four hour trek, and uh, then tomorrow, it's gonna take us at least 12 hours to get home down this track, because uh, we're going down a different route called Torian. And I only just found out today it's a 12 hour trek, so yeah, we're getting absolutely beasted on this this trip, guys. But yeah, it's a once in a million, right? So don't need to worry. Yeah, let's go, let's get ready. This is the track guys, heading down into the lake, but you can't see it now because all the fogs came in. But look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. The track is a bit treacherous. Uh, it's all rocks. This part's fine, but you'll see what I look, see? And when these rocks are slippy as hell, uh, when they're wet, so look at that. Wait there, look. So we need to be careful, especially because the we're carrying a lot of kit as well. Oh, yeah. Look 
Look at that, man. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Bloody exhausted, I'll, I'll tell you that. I've just looked at my watch and we've been we've been continuously walking for 12 hours now. Over 12 hours. <laughs> uh, and then, the, obviously, this part, I haven't monitored this part yet on my watch. I'll check it in a minute. I'll check it when we get down. But... <clears throat> When we get down to the lake, there is a hot spring from the volcano, which we can jump in. Uh, it's like five minutes from the camping area, I said. We can jump in that <coughs> and, uh, yeah, swim in the hot water. Happy days. And then jump in the lake for a bit of cold water therapy. Oh. We'll just stop here. So the guys can have a cigarette break. That is where we've came down from. I don't know, you know, how... Uh, those trees up there uh, was their last camping area. I mean, look at that. It's literally vertical. We've had the zigzag all the way down on this kind of track. It's been a nightmare. And now the rain's obviously full pelt. So everything is just slidey as hell. And we now need to go down here around here, up this track here, across and then back up to reach the river and then tomorrow we need to go all the way back down through this valley which you can't really see just now because all the fog is in but there's two like obviously massive mountains here at each side well, it's the same mountain but you know what I mean they've created a valley but, oh look at that Especially when you already start it, dehydrated, tired, hungry, and so on. Feet are on fire. I just can't wait to get to the the lake though, so we can dive in. And I'm gonna wash these clothes. Saratos percent, so I can't bear to see Baji Bajuini. And Brennan, no. And a hot spring yoga. Get the plan plan at ya. Let's go guys. Yo guys. Renang, Renang. Oh bang it goes. Yo man. Besok pulang. Iya yeah, bro. Lewat mana? Eh Torian. 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 Yeah. Look at this man! Yeah. Look at this! Look at this place! That is unbelievable! Jesus, look at that! Look at the view up there! Oh, this is just... It makes the, the graft to get here so much, so worth it. Guys are fishing here. Look at that man. Look at the fog just coming up out the water. Jeez. We gotta be at it, eh? Wow. Oh that is insane guys. Absolutely insane. Here, man. <laughs> oh man, I just don't know what to say. Look at that, look at that from there around. Look at that in the distance, man. I've got no words. Yeah, no words. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to get a brand new. guys. I'm going to dump my kit and get in that water now because I am dying. So yeah, let's go. Finally arrived here guys. At the camping spot next to the lake. Look at that. 
I've said it so many times in this video, I honestly don't know what to say. It's just absolutely out of this world. The trek is not for the faint hearted, it's not for someone who isn't used to doing mountains. It is, the trek is pretty. I can't thank these guys enough. Uh, we used the guide and porters from Ranjani Trekker, and I honestly cannot thank them enough. These guys are on the ball, they've squared us away like every step of the way. Water, food, snacks, bringing kit, you name it, the guys are all over it. Never once complained, just cracked on. The guy behind me, here's this fishing. I'm not even joking. Every time he dips his rod in, he pulls it out and there's a ton of fish there. You can actually see the fish right there at the water. It's just packed full of fish in here. Look, look, wait, see this. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got two. The last one he had six in the one net. Superb. But I'm sorry guys, I'm going to crack on and eat my food now because I am starving. We've just turned the camera on quickly again. We only turned it off 10 seconds ago and look at that. The fog, the cloud and the fog is just mixed in with the lake. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, where do you see this? You can see all the fish marks at the top of the water everywhere. The place is absolutely packed with fish. It was well, when the guys told us, <laughs> when the guys told us at the top, Input Jam Lagi Tarun, I was like, Input Jam Lagi, four hours. I was like, you're joking me. And the trek home from here tomorrow is another 12 hours. That will be a mission. Apparently the track is not too hard. It's right in the valley of two big crack mountains. And, uh, but it's just long. I mean, it goes on. It's like it's 12 hours trekking, at least. So I, I'm not looking forward to that, but we should see what it brings. And they are literally roasting hot. Honestly, God. Yeah. Oh, it's creaking. <laughs> <laughs> the view here is just. <laughs> wow. Got another set of stairs here. Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at this, guys.